Hello everyone, it's Koneko here, and Happy New Year! By the time this video is edited and uploaded, it will be 2018. And this video is a little bit different than past videos that I've made, but I just want to sort of talk about my time here on YouTube. It's been a full year of regular uploads, and then I want to talk a little bit about my plans for 2018. Before I get started, of course, if you are new here and you haven't already, please consider becoming a part of this magical and pastel online family by clicking the subscription button below. So 2017 has been a pretty intense year for me. I graduated from my second university degree in education. I got married in mid-August and I have experimented and played around with different video types and settings and designs and all of that stuff, but I feel pretty good with where I'm at going into the new year, like brand wise and where I'm heading with my channel and all of that. So when I officially started uploading on YouTube, it was actually the beginning of fall 2016. I believe it was like September maybe, but I was only uploading once to twice a month in the beginning and I really just kind of pushed myself and was like, okay, I'm going to sit down and just kind of dress up like I do for my pictures on Instagram and make a video. So I made my first video called Gotta Start Somewhere and I know it doesn't really like follow the sort of the guidelines of create, you know, an attractive thumbnail and a clear title that people really know what's going on in the video. But like I said in the video, I believe, <laughs> was that I just, I wanted to get started. I had been putting it off for a few years. I had wanted to make a YouTube channel and I just kept putting it off and putting it off and I spent some of this year looking back and being like, I really wish I would have started earlier because I had gone in 2015 to Disney World, Disneyland and Universal Studios in Florida and I took a lot of pictures. I wish I would have taken some videos and kind of even put together like a video of just my time there, even if I was too shy at the time to be on screen. But I'm trying not to dwell and I've pushed through and looking back, I haven't really sat down and really looked at my old videos in a long time because cringe. But from even just glancing at my older videos when I first started to newer ones, although in some newer ones I'm, I'm still a little bit quiet, I do notice a big difference in how I present myself on camera and how much better I am at talking at the camera and editing and all of that good stuff. So also in 2017 I did trial free trials of some editing softwares. I think midsummer or something the Vegas Pro software I was using went like half price and went ahead and got it and that has made life so much easier for editing and also way at the beginning I got my two studio lights so that I could film during the winter in Canada. But yeah, so that was a big step. Also another big change is when I first started filming I was in like a corner of my craft room and had like a camcorder camera which was fine, it did the trick, but I switched into this room which is 
our spare bedroom for when guests come over. So yes, they sleep in a very, very pastel room. So I had bigger space. I picked up this really awesome Emma Day bed that I can use sort of as like a couch and the walls were like bright pink like a hot pink in here and so with the help of John's parents and sister we painted this room so it wasn't so pink. I love pink but with all my other colors the pink walls were just clashing with everything and my hair um, or different wigs that I was wearing and I switched from a camcorder to my Canon G7X Mark II that I got for the purpose of vlogging at like anime conventions and just practicing vlogging and um, if John and I travel then I can you know have this smaller camera as I do have a Canon Rebel TSI that I do want to try to maybe use more in the new year for like main videos and have this camera as vlogs and updates. So yes, I've come a long way, I think. 2018, I want to improve the quality of my videos as best I can. I'm sure, you know, I will be testing things out and it just won't work. I want to continue to be interactive with subscribers and followers on other social media and really bring more of the types of videos that I've made that I really, really love as well as more cosplay videos. I consider the themes of this channel to be a little bit broad, but I do try to narrow things down and be specific, whether it's using playlists or trying to stick with, you know, my pastel background or pastel themes and like integrating everything that way. So there are a few videos that I think that I feel are a little bit out of place on my channel, but I probably will just leave them because this channel is so small, which is fine, and maybe it'll grow, maybe it won't, but I don't hate any videos that I've made, which I'm very proud of myself for. I can see development and trying out new things, and I still want to try out new things too in the future, but my main themes that I try to portray are the magical and pastel. I eventually landed on that intro. Please consider becoming a part of this magical and pastel online family. Magical and pastel, I wanted to specify both of those things because as this studio space is very pastel, and bright and I really love that style and aesthetic maybe but I also am a huge freaking nerd I love Harry Potter to like an extreme like almost maybe an unhealthy obsession now it's fine and Doctor Who a lot which I know isn't really magical like Harry Potter is magical and then magical girls and I grew up on Sailor Moon and Cardcaptor Sakura and eventually got into Tokyo Mew Mew and Madoka Magica. So a lot of magical girls and pastel magical girls. I just really love magic and fantasy and so any way that I can fit these two things together. I also, for the first little while, only really uploaded videos that I was completely dressed up, full makeup, wig, contact lenses, everything. I eventually, slowly, I think vlogs kind of broke me out of that. I was starting to do a little bit of vlogs because I wanted to practice for vlogging at Anna Maritime. But yeah, I want to be kind of more like diverse and not worry about like always being fully in my Koneko persona. It is something that I love doing. I love cosplaying and a lot of cosplay videos that I 
started to make, I would just be me. <laughs> and then I would dress up in the character in the video and talk about the costume where I got it. Or I would dress up as a character and do an unboxing of something. And I found that really fun to be a character and reviewing something. I mean, I didn't do like a full role play of the character. I was dressed up and going through the stuff. I want to get back to my Wednesday, Saturday upload for sure, like at minimum, and those being a main video as I would call it. So whether it's a review or an unboxing or a collection or a haul video, some cosplay stuff as well. Also some video topics, themes that I was starting to do were vlogs, Monday vlogs. So I would either film Saturday or Sunday throughout the day and then I would edit it and post it for Monday. So I'm gonna try to do Monday vlogs. They might be more of a sit down update video. I don't know if I'll call them vlogs. They will either be a vlog of kind of things I was doing throughout the day or an update of what's been going on, what I have been working on. And those might be a little bit easier, a little bit shorter to just do like a sit down quick update. In that way I can make sure that I have the video out on Monday because editing does take me quite a bit. <laughs> and also I had started a series called Feature Fridays where I would talk about different items that I won in a giveaway or was sponsored and I'll mention if it was sponsored or like sent to me for free and then also at the end I would feature any artists who had drawn me recently because I had been getting a few of those on both of my cosplay and pastel Instagrams. It was a good opportunity to kind of thank them and put them in a little video because there are some super cute drawings that I've been getting and I love them and appreciate them so, so much. And oftentimes I will mention if I have like discount codes for shops. I'd like to end this video with a few of my New Year's resolution. I would love to know what your New Year's resolution are. Let me know in the comment section below. A few of my New Year's resolutions include saving money. <laughs> Not that I'm bad at saving money, but I have a lot of things in the new year that I have to pay or save up for or would like to save up for. I have student loans to start paying back. I am getting braces in the new year. Dance, so I have recently joined a Love Live cosplay dance group, so I'm sure I'll be dancing a lot. I really want to dance and work on dancing, maybe upload some clips to my Instagram or YouTube. I just think it will be really fun. So hopefully that goes over well. Cosplay, I just want to keep working on cosplay. I have some cosplays that I've neglected finishing and I really want to get froppy done or like just progress on that cosplay because I really haven't and it's a shame. Also, because of the cosplay dance group, I will be doing a lot of Katori and Rico learn Japanese. This was on my New Year's resolution list last year and I'm doing kind of poorly. I've always been hesitant in learning new languages. Just pronunciation is the hardest for me and then it makes me very shy and awkward and nervous to try to form these words. YouTube, so everything that I already went over, you know, I'm just gonna keep on keeping on <laughs> and try to stick to a schedule, work on the quality of different things, taking more time maybe to edit, and making better titles, thumbnails, just just working on my YouTube and keeping it going. I want to be more cruelty free. I feel like every day I'm learning more and more different companies that aren't cruelty free as I focused mainly on makeup this past year. I definitely want to read more this year which will probably mean that I will be posting videos about books and like what I'm reading 
a little bit and I feel like posting updates on what I'm reading or what I thought or the books that I have that I've read and then books that I want to read it's out there online so I better get read in or else I'll look like a slacker <laughs> All right, so I'm definitely now going to end the video. I said I was going to read off my New Year's resolution list as kind of a closing to the video, and I like to talk. I hope this video isn't too long. If you made it through the video, wow, thank you. You are dedicated viewer. If you have any comments, questions, please leave them below. And I hope that you liked this video, and I hope that you have a fantastic New Year's Day. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!